how to create a journal to sell on Amazon KDP with Canva for free. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build a Amazon KDP book. So let's get started. Now you can do all of this for free with Canva. You don't have to buy anything. Canva is available absolutely for free. And I'll show you guys some examples of um, KDP books. So um, KDP books and you know, self-published books, you know, this. So these are books that are built with Amazon KDP where the person that has listed this book does not actually, you know, build the book and book by themselves or print the book or deal with that. They just provide the content of the book and then Amazon prints it and delivers it to the people that order. So to be able to create a Amazon KDP journal, we're going to head on over to kdp.amazon.com and we are going to go into their cover calculators because these are very important when you're building your cover. So we want a paperback cover. The interior is going to be standard color and the paper type is white. This is going to be from left to right and then I'm going to keep inches. And then we want our trim size to be six by nine. And then let's say I want to build um, five pages. Oh, minimum is 24, but okay, let's go for 30 pages. And then you're going to click on calculate dimensions. Now, this will automatically calculate the dimensions for you. And this will give you the full cover. Now, you can just go ahead in Canva and click on custom size. Then you're going to change it from pixels into inches. And then you're going to enter this. So it's 12.318. This is going to vary depending on the size that you choose. And it's also going to vary by the number of pages you have. So for us, it's going to be 9. 0.25 in the height section yeah now once we've done this we're going to click on create new design and this is just going to be from where we can get started with designing now a really easy way to be able to know where to put in your front section your back is to download the template from the bottom left on amazon kdp open this up and once you open this up this will show you an image so you're going to go into canva over here and you have this PNG and you're just going to upload this PNG over here. And once you upload it, if you size it, it should expand and fit perfectly into the cover that you created. And once you do, you can zoom in and then click on this image over here and make the transparency around 50% so you can see it, but it's not too much. And then you can design it however you want. So now i'll just search for background and i'll design the book cover so this is just the cover keep in mind this is just the cover and then we're going to build our actual uh, internal pages later on so i am just building a simple little cover over here and i'm just going to add this like so and i want to build like a contrast spine so i'm going to go for a different illustration for the spine, I want to build it in this maybe, or in this, like so. I will just add this over here and place this right above the spine section, like this. And now I can place the back section. Now I know where the spine is. This is the front page and I can, you know, design the front page however I like. I can go into the layer section and go into show layers. And if I unlock this and move this layer above, so I'm going to just unlock this and I can move this to the top to be able to see the rest of the measurement. You will see the barcode is going to be added over here and I can complete the rest of my design. And you can just remove this element if you don't need it anymore for any of your design. For me, I don't necessarily need it, so I'm going to delete it. And now I'm going to design the rest of my book cover, which includes adding a heading. So let's say this is going to be wellness uh, 2024 journal like this. So I'm just going to take this and put in the title over here. Make sure it's centered like this. And then I can, you know, add more elements, more design elements in this as well. But this is just my basic book cover. So once I have designed my book cover, I am going to click on download and download this as a PDF print. 
and I'm just going to download that. And now we can start building our internal pages. So for our internal pages, you're going to go into custom size. And this is not going to be double the width. This is going to be six by nine. You can include a 2.5 bleed in these because this can be a great way to make sure none of the uh, things that you write are cut out. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our first page, which is usually the page where people write their names in their journal. So I'm going to use this little illustration that we used in our pages as well. So I'm going to rotate this and just place it over here and use it as a thin bar. And then I will go ahead and use this one as well, like this, like so. I will just place it over here and I will build like a pattern of these two just like so on top like this. It looks pretty interesting and I'll move it around a little so it doesn't look like it's just you know, the same thing over and over again. It can look a bit different and I can also go into position and flip it as well like so. I'm also going to flip this one and then just place this like so and like this, we have an interesting page. Now I'm going to go into text. This journal belongs to. And once I write this text over here, I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to put in a shape where people can write their name. And usually I like to color this white so it's very easy for people to write their name in this little section. And you can use any more decorative items that you want. Now after that we are going to start building our second page. Now this is our journal so most of it is going to be filled by the customer and I don't really need to add a lot to it. So I'm going to make it a very simple journal and I'm just going to give it some borders with our image that we have used in this like this and I'm going to give it a skinnier border like this and I'll make this around the same size now after that i can go into lines and then i can rotate this and place it over here to form a margin like this now if you want you can just build lined pages i can build you know a bunch of different pages let's say i want to leave them empty you can add a calendar dates and more depending on the style of your calendar you can go ahead and you know add a january so like this and then you can enter all the dates you can form a grid and then you can have people you know be able to write down their weeks so week one and then in this it would include the, you know seven days where people can write seven days worth of their journal uh, once you have created this you can click on share download and download this as pdf print as well and just like that your book is ready for amazon kdp so you have your book cover and your internal pages ready and now all you have to do is upload on to amazon so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe